Everyone, without exception, loves a spectacle and a show. In the history of modern judo there are about a hundred bouts, which people are ready to rewatch for years due to their high level of activity and spectacle. That's why today I have selected the most spectacular judo bouts, many of which have already become classics. If you like today's video, don't forget to give it a like. I wish you a pleasant viewing and here we go. World Championships in Chalyabinsk in 2014. Then in the quarterfinals Masashi Abinima against Georgi Zentaraya. Japanese Abinima at the peak of his career against Zentaraya, who is also in one of his best forms. What could be better than to acrobats and technicians in one encounter? I'll tell you this is probably my favorite match in judo history. Ibinima and Zentarai of those years are shining examples of decent and attacking judo. Just look at the number of throwing entries from Ibinima and the number of dodges and acrobatic escapes from Zentarai. These judokas seem to have endless breath. After all, behind every technical action, which from the outside looks so easy, there are 1,000 training sessions and tens of thousands of throws. This meeting between the reigning world champion Abinima and Zentaraya reached Chikalizada, where the representative of Ukraine received Shido and lost. And this bout went into the Hall of Fame of the Judo we all love. This bout took place at the tournament in Morocco. It was a classic battle of two Uzbek team tops, weight category up to 60 kilograms. That's Sheriff Idnlith Fuliev and Dyer Bikurizbov. This is one of the most exemplary fights in the history of modern judo. Uncompromising mutual attacking encounter, aggression and respect is what can be said about this bout. Undoubtedly these to know each other very well and what to expect in one move or another. But look at the number of attacks and attempts of technical action from both athletes. Everything was perfect in this bout. A real fight. Not for nothing this video has been forcing on the internet for many years and it collects hundreds of thousands of views. But in the end, Sheriff Inlet fully have won this unforgettable encounter. World Championships in Rio de Janeiro between Japanese Abinima and Brazilian Charles Chibena. Again Abinima, and this time against Chibena, who was chased forward by the home stands and supported his every move and saw him off with applause. We all know how great the support is in Brazil. Ibinima was chasing the second world title of his career after 2011 in Paris, when he became world champion for the first time. And looking ahead, he did become a two-time world champion in Rio. But the fight against Chibana seemed so competitive that at one point I already thought that the Brazilian could surpass the Japanese, and the stands drove him forward time after time. So many different throws and escapes, to flexible and highly skilled judokas who showed a real spectacle in such an important tournament. But in the end, Abinima staggers Chibena's throw and wins this spectacular bout. A meeting at the Grand Prix tournament in Antalya between two jet setting judokas, Abdullah Abdulzalalov of Russia and the recently finished 2021 Azeri Njotchikalizada. Both judokas are known for their open and attacking style. On top of that, their technique is top notch and from there it makes for a great duo on the tatami and a real spectacle. Abundance of attacks and the desire to revisit this meeting time and time again. By the way, this video is also constantly on the internet, which proves the love of the public to this meeting. But in the end, Abdullah defeated his opponent with a throw across his back. The classic confrontation between Yelda Smetov and Beslan Mudrinov. Then they met in the Grand Prix final in 2014, two years before the Rio Olympics final, where Mudrinov won. 
This meeting for me personally is one of my favorites, like the meeting between Abinima and Zentarai, to light and super technical judokas who are true masters and legends of judo. And Smetov, let me remind you, is a current athlete and he took Olympic bronze in 2021. This meeting according to the classics of this video has all the characteristics to get the title of one of the best in the history of modern judo. From the beginning to the end of the encounter, we saw mutually attacking judo, endless rolls and trips to throws. Such bouts make people far from judo fall in love with it, and motivate people to practice the sport. But in the end mudron of one with one was Ari and Ayuko. Astana 2015 World Championships An iconic encounter between Japan's Ono Shohei and Israel's Sagi Muki, who will move up a category to become world champion in 2019. In this bout, Ono simply took his opponent apart in the quarterfinals, but you have to give credit to Sagi Muki, who showed good wrestling and kept level. But Oho was too good then, and is now. He eventually defeated the Israeli by a score of 13-0 which means one was Ari and three Yuko. After that, he reached the final and became the world champion. World Championships 2018 in Baku, Japanese semi-finals, World Champion Naohisa Takato and explosive competitor Ryuji Nagayama, who has defeated Naohisa more than once in his career, to technicians, acrobats and professionals at their craft, and from the first second the two judokas went into the exchange and began to fight vigorously trying to maximize the score. It is the Japanese who are always focused on ending the bout with Ippon, it is their traditional style of winning by Ippon that they follow. In the end, Takato caught his opponent with a Kuchigari underhook and won the bout. Then in the final, in the exact same Kuchigari, Takato finished Robert Nshvidabadze and defended the world title, while Nagayama took the bronze medal. The meeting between the two reigning Olympic champions at the 2020 Grand Slam tournament in Dusseldorf. It was the first time that two gold medalists clashed in the form of Shohei Ono and Fabio Bossel. Everyone knew that Ono was two heads stronger, more technical and powerful than the Italian. We must give credit to Fabio, who showed a good will to win, and despite the obvious loss in physics. He tried to impose his fight time after time and made his crowning moves on the bull, and he even tried to throw his crowning catch twice with Ono. But King Ono doesn't forgive such things, when Basel wanted to use the Japanese as weapon against himself, and that's the underhook. The Japanese easily chanted it at Ippon, and emerged victorious from the battle of the two Olympic champions.